Hello, welcome to my new tutorial series on C. C is a programming language. Um, I hope you know what it is, or else there is no sense in what I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to show you how to compile it or how to install the compiler, because you should know that if you don't watch some other video or learn another programming language, because C is, should not be the first language you learn. Um, first, what you will learn in every programming language first is uh, the Hello World program. I'll explain it step by step. Um, so let's begin with the first line. It's an include line. It includes a library, so a predefined uh, set of commands which uh, the computer knows what to do with. Uh, it's the STDIO, which means uh, stan standard uh, input and output. Uh, .h is the format which libraries are uh, made in, in C. Then our function, main. Main is the function which uh, is normally um, uh, used in C programs where the whole, cord, uh, the co the whole code starts. Um, it returns the type integer uh, because it returns either 1 or 0. 1 if there was an error, 0 if there wasn't. Here is the return. Um, printf is the command for printing out a string. Uh, in this case it's just the hello world string. Um, and get ch is, or get ch, get char. Uh, char is a string consisting of one character, um, which just gets a one character input from the user. So at the end of this program, if I use any key, it will jump to the next line, which is return 0, and end the program. Right, let's compile it. And let's run it. Hello world. I press any key. It doesn't need to be entered, it's just any key. And it instantly quits. Okay, so now I'll explain you uh, the details about STDAO and the printf command. Um, S Studio input and output obviously has all the commands for input and output. I will uh, tell you all the commands it has in a later video. Um, but the printf and the get char are both inside this ST STDIO. Um, now, printf. It prints a string. A string is an array of chars. Uh, that is important to remember because you will need it later. Uh, the C language doesn't have a string variable. It only has the char, integer and some other variables which we will also cover later. Right now uh, I want to cover specifically printf and the char array here, because it's not just some char array. It's special in the way that it is a so-called formatted char array, which means that it can use some special symbols, which means, for example, I can write this, percent %d, then comma, and let's say 10. Let's save that up and look what that does. It prints out 10. So, why did it do it? The percent %d means decimal. That mean the percent means that what comes after this, so uh, percent %d will be replaced by a decimal. A decimal is a number, an integer, um, which I write after the comma. So I could say uh, the number is and then percent %d and that would be the number is 10. Let's see. Yes, the number is 10. Now, uh, a bit to uh, with var variables, we can say an integer uh, number 
is let's say 12 right here we declare a variable this is the variable type so that the computer knows what it is uh, trying to remember a variable is just the computer remem uh, remembering something some char or, or char arrays or numbers so integer is a number a whole number without uh, point something uh, that is the name so we can use it later in our program equals which means that well it is equal to what is to the right and that's 12 so uh, we saved an integer with the name number and gave it the value of 12 now we'll do the same here but instead of the uh, writing the 10 here we'll write number and that is this number so it will take what is contained in this variable and put it here let's save and look what happens yes the number is 12 okay now the percent d isn't everything we can do there are more um, such format specifiers they are called for example there is percent %c c stands for char so we can write char number equals now when we specify just one char not an array so uh, multiple chars but one char we use not those quotation marks but those the single quotation marks um, so let's say the character is f the number is percent c so char and number it's still called number we can say it's a character yes now we replace that save and look what we got it compiles we run it and the number is f that's because we still have the number is um, then there is there are many others like percent %e for um, an exponent or float format that we will cover later uh, percent %f for another type of float no actually the same type of float um, percent %g for a double percent um, percent %s yes percent %s is for a character array so how do we declare an array an array is just multiple uh, multiple variables after each other in some format that sticks them together let's say so char we still need the type it's an array of chars um, let's say it's um, our string and then we put these brackets um, we use these brackets to specify that that is an array but not only these brackets but also a number which is between those brackets that specifies how long this array is so uh, let's say this is 15 characters long so it can fit in a maximum of 15 characters then we can say equals and then we use the double quotation marks because it's a string it's an array of characters and not just one character and then we write for example hello world yes now semicolon don't forget to put the semicolon at the end of each line which has uh, any command in it or else the compiler will be angry with you and now let's say just percent s and here we specify our string so now it will see aha there is a percent s so i need to look in the uh, other arguments what you write between the parentheses are arguments uh, i need to look what the other argument is and put it in here let's save that 
and compile. Here we go, hello world. That is because our string was equal to hello world and we put it in here, we printed it out um, and get char or get char is for uh, it waits for a, uh, for a char and returns zero. So I think that would be it for um, the first lesson. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, like this video, subscribe, comment. Uh, any questions you have, please feel free to comment them in the comment section below this video. And I will see you for the next video in probably two days. Tomorrow, or I hope tomorrow, um, my friend will publish a video on C++ covering the same thing I did here, but in C++. And goodbye.